How's it going guys? So let's uh, move into our next topic of the conversation and that is Max Holloway versus Henry Cejudo. I guess I'm um, interested in this fight and the only reason why I brought this up is that Henry Cejudo was on MMA Junkie, MMA Junkie Radio and this is what he said. He said, this is about Max. Excuse me. He said, he's taller than me he inflicted a lot more damage on different people, but I feel like I'm just too smart and just too skilled. I love the challenge if I were to, I love the challenge if I were to ever fight Max Holloway. And that is a quote by Henry Cejudo from MMA Junkie Radio. Okay, so for me to you, are you um interested in this fight? Okay. Before I move on, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Me personally, guys, honestly, not really. I would I would like to be honest with you. I think this is just another way that Henry Cejudo is trying to keep himself in the media, trying to keep us, the fans, and the media as a whole talking about him. And you know, I can't blame the guy. I cannot blame the guy. If Henry, Su- if Henry Cejudo wants to come back, he's 100% going to compete at 145. Because there's no way in hell, there's no fucking way that Max is going to make 135. I mean, he is struggling as as it is to make 145. And Max, is sti- Max he's still in his, in his 30, and you guys, he is growing, and he's still adding mass onto his frame. And he was on record saying that Heading into his um his fight versus um Dustin Poirier, he's walking around at like one seventy. One seventy, holy shit, and he had to cut all the way down to one fifty five, and that was a bit of a struggle for him. And as of right now, it's a bit of a struggle. It's like way more of a struggle, not even a bit of a struggle for him, to make the one forty five weight limit, and and now all of a sudden. Henry wants to fight Max. It's gotta be a, It's gotta be at least a, at one forty five. I don't know how seriously he is about making this fight happen. Like I said, me personally, I don't think so. I don't think he's serious about it. I think it's just another way that he, like I said, trying to keep his keep his name in the media. And yeah, that that is said, you guys. That is honestly my honest my honest opinion. And let's just say, if this fight does happen, come on, man. I think Max is going to bust him up. I realize that Henry, Henry Cejudo has been some of the best fighter that the UFC, that this will have to offer, as in, as in um, Demetrius Johnson. Because, man, DJ, I am a big uh, DJ fan. And having that win over um, DJ, I, I thought that that was huge. That was huge. For, that was huge. For Henry Cejudo, but however, that fight was so close. It was so close. It could have gone either way, and of course, as we know, after that fight, um, DJ was traded for for Ben Askren, and the rest is honestly it's it's history. DJ went on to doing great things. Ben Askren is fighting Jake Paul, and you, and if you guys have seen my previous my previous my previous video. Or if, if you have not, take a look. I think Jake Paul is going to mess him up. I think Jake Paul is going to mess up um, Ben Askren. I mean, Jake Paul is pulling a freaking bus right now. Holy shit. Holy shit, you guys. And, okay, let's get back to this. Yeah, I think this is going to be a big fight. But I don't see this fight happening. Like, not at all. I don't see Henry's, I don't see Henry Sudo fighting... Um, Max Holloway, and just the fact that the size is it's just way too big. It's just way too big. I don't know what. I don't know what um, Henry Henry Cejudo is walking at. What his walk around weight is at. But it's too much. I think this is just a bit too much. So, do I see this fight happening? Slim. When it's this limb, it's like maybe like one in a thousand, one in two thousand. So I'm not counting on it. Yeah. My interest in this, 
Okay, this is my interest in this. In this, I am interested to see this fight if and only if Max Holloway captured, recaptured the featherweight title, and Henry Cejudo is moving up to try to capture a, th um, a third title in um in a third division. That is the only way that I will be interested in this fight. Beyond that, not really. Honestly, not really. And if you ask me why I'm I am interested in seeing that fight and not the other way around. And the answer to that question is that you guys I like to watch history being made. And could you only imagine if if Henry Cejudo go up there and beat Max Holloway? I'm not trying to say it's um it's impossible. I'm trying to say it's difficult, like very difficult. And that is a history. That is a big history in the world of mixed martial arts. Henry Cejudo would accomplish something that no one else have and that is being a three weight world champ in um three uh three division and beating max holloway to do so that would be un fucking believable so that being said he would be dj demetrius johnson at 125 to capture the title Beat um TJ Dilsha at one thirty five. Sorry, no, then he beat Asensa, I believe. Oh my goodness, I gotta relook into that one. Yes, he beat Asensa, and then he defended versus um Dominic Cruz. He beat Dominic Cruz. Henry Cejudo would beat Do Dominic Cruz. That is unbelievable. And if he was move move up to one forty five and beat this man right here, Max Holloway. Holy shit, man! Holy shit, Henry. That would be quite an accomplishment so we'll see we will see what's gonna happen only time will tell and yeah we'll see what happened okay so once again you guys tell me what you think in the comment section below if you're not if you have not please comment comment rate and subscribe i would love to hear from you yeah